Meet Vinnie the Emperor, Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred. What does it mean to be Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred? In September 2014, Vinnie wrapped up his horse racing career at Suffolk Downs in Massachusetts. One win in 28 starts. Under the care of Janelle Day, Vinnie's new jockey if you will, the former racehorse now excels in horse shows as an eventer and hunter-jumper. He's known as Jungle Cat in horse shows, and by the nickname Hobbs, as in the comic book Calvin and Hobbs Around the Barn. Janelle obtained Vinny the Emperor from Cantor, an organization that helps find new homes for horses after they finish their racing careers. Cantor Colorado teamed up with Retired Racehorse Project, Arapahoe Park, the state's horse race track, and the Colorado Horse Racing Association to find out who would be Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred. The event took place at the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo at the National Western Complex in Denver in March 2015, just six months after Vinny's last race. The competition showed the transformation of four former racehorses who are now eventers, hunter-jumpers, trail horses, and horses who work on ranches. Racehorses can have vast potential in new careers after racing. The finalists? Run to the Border and rider Christy Radosevich of Elizabeth, Colorado. Run to the Border won nine races and earned more than $200,000 in a seven-year racing career before winning awards in eventing and dressage. Still going strong at age 16 with powerful leaps like this. Freeside and rider Teresa Snyder of Parker, Colorado. Bred in Colorado in 2002, Freeside's racing career was curtailed by injury after just one start in 2005. He's recovered admirably and now clears high jumps in shows with the power of a steeplechase racehorse and the grace of an equine ballerina. Buck Deer and rider Lindsay Sacco of Littleton, Colorado. The eye-catching gray made one career start in West Virginia. Now, Lindsay said about the horse known as Silver Lining at horse shows, not many horses can go from the show ring to a dude ranch and lead trail rides for five hours a day or be used to herd horses and Vinny the Emperor and Janelle Day of Fort Collins, Colorado, the youngest horse in Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred contest at the age of five. With his quick adaptability from racing to eventing, thanks to a calm and intelligent temperament, Janelle calls him the perfect American thoroughbred. The four finalists showed off their horses on the flat. That's Freeside. Over the jumps, as Run to the Border did and Buck Deer, whose jumps had his competition looking on and applauding. And even on a bicycle. Here's Janelle leading Vinny the Emperor around while riding a different type of horsepower. Retired Racehorse Project's Stuart Pittman explained the amazing transformation each horse has made post-racing. Judging the performances were Arapahoe Park General Manager Bruce Seymour, Cantor Colorado Executive Director Jamie Girard, and Dale Simonton of Gate to Great. The four riders told the crowd why their horse should be Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred. Would it be Run to the Border, Freeside, Buck Deer, or Vinny the Emperor? It was a tough decision, but the crowd cheered loudest for Vinny the Emperor his jumping, his walking on a tarp, and his bicycling. Crowned Colorado's most wanted thoroughbred, Vinny and Janelle Day took a victory lap. From the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo, this is Jonathan Horowitz.